say that he's a superstar. He was a superstar and it was good? It was good. For our 450, you know, we were doing steeplechase. Uh -huh. We came in 30 seconds fast. Woo! So I just let him, you know, he's off the track third, but I just let him pick his pace because Megan said don't interfere with him in between. I wasn't going to fight, so I just picked him up in front of the jumps. He flew over the jumps. Love steeplechase. Ears forward the whole time. He was really confused. We were going on the deep pace. The crowd goes crazy! <laughs> He was really confused. <laughs> He's so super confused what we were doing. So I took a couple. It was, it was nice. Our first three, four fences were just to get going mm -hmm. the fences. Yeah. And then I'm like, no, no, we're serious, but we're going again. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And he just picked right up. Didn't look at anything. Had a couple awkward straightnesses to a couple of things. Mm -hmm. He super knows his job, galloped through the water, kicked through that because he was up bank to a little log. Yep. Took the trucaner. I was like, no, we're going, we're going, don't even look, because we're going, we're going. He just flew over the trucaner, jumped it a little bigger than um, he, he needed to. Yeah. I have it with me. But he, um, right, no, I know. He was so knowing what he was supposed to do this time. That's like awesome. Like the Penny Oaks really set him up for this. That was awesome. I had such a blast. We, uh, for, for me to figure out because it was a 400 where I should be on course I've never uh -huh. watched before. I just know my pace. Right. Uh, what I did is I did the aerial photo mm -hmm. and I cut it into fifths. And I said, okay, between these jumps, this is where I should be. Like, I'm if sorry, you're, like, the minute off. Right. Um, speed up or slow down. Uh -huh. We were right where I was supposed to be the whole way, but the time is 5.19, uh -huh. and I did it exactly in five minutes. So he was like so listening. Like I could have sped him up. I could have slowed him down. down. I just let him alone. Megan said, leave him alone in between. I just let him alone in between. And then so then he knew when I was going to jump. I was like, no, no, no. He looked at the banks. He was confused about which one was his. Yeah, I saw him kind of yeah. go to the side so a little bit. I was like, no, I was tapping his shoulder. I was like, no, yeah. no, we're going, we're going. This is ours. This is ours, yeah. Uh huh. And then after that, he was like, I got okay. this. And then I was worried about the last fence, that's where I always have trouble was at the end. Um, I wasn't worried, the fence itself is a nothing fence, but all that bright stuff there. Right. And sometimes yeah, he shies off as well. Right. But I don't think he shied on course this time. Maybe on roads and tracks a little, but we practiced road and tracks yesterday. If no one's done a three day, I say this is the one to learn on. They've been awesome. Just talk to someone ahead of time because I didn't have all the equipment, especially my farrier. I should have pulled and labeled all the shoes like mm. when I got pulled last time. I didn't have any shoes. I was, I wasn't, I don't know what I was going to do if I lost a shoe out there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So the, everything, I said, if you're going to do a three day, sit and talk and make a list because it's, the vet box is way more. I just thought they're going to like sponge and that's the vet box. The vet box is a whole education unto itself. And so learn before you come. That was my biggest mistake. I didn't think it was that different. I just thought roads and tracks were different. It's way different. This is so much fun though. It, the warm up is fantastic for cross country. Everyone says that. Uh -huh. Man, the warm up. You don't jump anything till steeplechase. Like you just go out and you go 450 and jump. You know, let him come out of the gallop. They love. He loves steeplechase. Loved it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I say do it. You never done a three day? Totally different. Totally different. So much fun. I'm so happy that I got a chance. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Another double clear round in our novice three day event for Michelle Clark and Zeus as they finish up the course in 1 minute 16 seconds. So their score of a 34.3 is going to stand, putting pressure on the top eight. Currently sitting in eighth place, we have our next competitor in the ring. This is entry number 23, Must Be Lucky, owned and ridden by Roberta Christie of Carbondale, Illinois. They are sitting on a 34.1. Thank you.